Greetings, my brothers and sisters. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, who is the head of the Christian church. And we thank God for another Thanksgiving Day. And to those who will view, or who will view later on, happy Thanksgiving. It's a blessing. And the Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Even as difficult things have been, he says, this is the day the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice in today. And I thank God for again another Thanksgiving. And I thank him for his goodness and his kindness. I won't hold you long, but I just want to give you just a thought on this Thanksgiving uh, day from Psalms 9 and 1. Psalms 9 and 1. I want to read from the New King James Version this morning. It reads as follows. I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your marvelous works. That's enough. I want to talk to you, Son of God. Prayer and thanksgiving. Prayer and thanksgiving. In this verse one, and even in Psalms nine, is really a prayer of thanksgiving. The psalmist tells us that we should praise him. Why? Because 
because you have been so good to me. You have been my all and all. You have been my everything. And so everything within me, inside of me, I'm going to praise you. Every fire of my being, I'm going to praise you. I'm going to honor you. I'm going to magnify you. I'm going to make you big because you are big. <laughs> make you large, God, because you are God. And you God all by yourself. And you're bigger than life. You've been everything in the world. You've been everything on earth. You are my everything. And so everything in me is praising you. Watch this. Can I do this way? Uh, everything inside me, my every fire, uh, my heart's praising you. Praising you. Well, my lungs and inhale and next God, the praise in you. Woo, Jesus, thank you, Holy Ghost. And, and, and watch this uh, and, and, and as my as my the blood flowing throughout my body is worn back and forth, is praising you. Everything within me is giving you glory. Everything within me is giving you honor. Everything within me is praising you. And so then as it goes on the inside, it works on the outside. So therefore, 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 uh, on the outside, uh, on the inside, my, my, my mouth, on, on the outside, start to praise you and say thank you because what's going on on the inside. Ooh, Jesus. So, so what happens is, is, is what, what's on the inside is being brought to the outside. And so if there's praise on the inside, it will be brought on the outside. And I will say from with my lips on the outside, it was hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. And on the outside, my hands start to go together and start to clap and start to praise you. On the outside, my feet get light and I want to dance and praise you. Oh, everything about me praises you. Everything on the inside, outside, praises you. Everything on the inside glorifies you. Everything on the inside, outside, magnifies and glorifies you and makes you big. Ooh, thank you, God. And watch this. He tells how he prays him. And then the next portion of the text, the third portion of the text, and I'm almost done. Uh, the Lord said the same. He says this. I'm going to start talking about you. So, so I, I, I'm telling you how I'm going to praise you with all my heart, and then I'm going to do a testimony service. Let's do this way. I'm going to testify about you. So here it is in the text of the next one. He says, I will tell <laughs> of all, not some, but of all your marvelous works. So I'm giving testimony service. Uh, I'm not going to talk about my cat, my dog. I'm going to talk about you. He says, I will, there's that word will again, I will definitely tell about your marvelous works. The word tell in the text means, I'm going to start counting everything you've done for me. Oh, Jesus. I will start, start in my mind, I'm going to start in my mind, recollect, remember what all you have done for me. And start, watch this, this way, I start to get a pencil and paper and start to recount everything you've done for me. And as a matter of fact, I can't get it all anyway, but because I'm running out of ink and my pen, I'm running out of lead and my pencil, and I'm running out of paper because I can't write everything down that you've done me. From the day I was born until now, there have been so many things you have done to me. I can't count it all, but it is, God, just let me just tell a little bit about it. Let me just count a little bit about what you have done to me, what all you have done for me. Even in the pandemic, you brought me through. And in some of us, we have got COVID, but he brought us through. And so I'm going to count your wonderful, the word boss means wonderful works, your wonderful deeds you have done for me. I start to tell it. Watch the nation say, can't nobody tell it like I can tell it. Don't nobody know what you've done me but you, but me, brother. Nobody can tell what you have done for me but me. Everybody else can tell what you know me. They only tell what, they, what you have done for them. But God, let me tell. What you got for me? Oh, everything I got. I will say thank you for your wonderful works. I will bless your name. You are worthy to be praised. Oh, thank you, sir. Watch this as I come to a close. He says this in special references. God's extraordinary. Can I just live in it? Let me keep that. Extraordinary, extraordinary inventions into history on behalf of his people. He has done extraordinary, not, not normal stuff. He has done some extraordinary things for us, the people of God. 
And so therefore, since he has done extraordinary things for we his people, I can do nothing but praise him. I'm not going to praise you just on Thanksgiving Day and say thank you. But every day, I'm going to give you thanks. Because every day is a day of Thanksgiving. Every day, every day. Every day is a day of Thanksgiving. So I'm not going to just depict it on one day. I'm going to depict it on 365 days. And when there's going to be 366 days, I'm going to thank you. I'm going to praise you. Well, watch this. I need to give you two more little verses of scripture and come to close. The Lord said the same. In verse number two, watch what verse number two says. Verse number two it says, you got to have the right attitude. You got to have the right attitude. In the eighth portion of the text, you got to have the right attitude for praise. He says, I will be glad and rejoice in you. Wait a minute. I cannot be sad and praise you. <laughs> I cannot be in doom and gloom and praise you. Even though I'm going through what I'm going through, but I still must be glad and praise you. I must rejoice. I must rejoice because when rejoicing means there has to be some gladness. There has to be some happiness in rejoicing. And so I'm glad and I'm rejoicing in you, wait a minute, in you. I'm not rejoicing in something else. I'm rejoicing in you. If you know it's a two verse of scripture that I just read, it's all about him. It's not about man. It's not about us. It's all about God. It's all about God. I am glad and rejoice in you, God. Mm. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. He going to let it again. He going to let it again. That will again. That will again. That will again. He says, I will sing praises. A same praise to your name, O Most High. Well, let me tell somebody something. Because you may say, well, how can I say I can't care I know it's been above it? It don't matter to God. Because when you start to sing praises to God, it's melody to his ears. Whether you care a note or care a tune, it doesn't matter to God. All he wants to hear you sing a song of thanksgiving. A song of praise and directly unto him, the most high, the most high God. Give him what he wants. Can I go this way? Give him what he deserves. He deserves our praise. He deserves us glorifying and magnifying him because he's God and God alone. And besides him, there is no other. Well, that's Psalms 9 and 2. But I want to take us to Psalm 75 and 1. He says, we, the church, the saints of the Most High, we give thanks to you. And then where they were, you, 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 you. And he says, oh God, we give thanks to you, oh God. In a direct address to God and God alone. Wait a minute. Watch this. We give thanks. Unto you.
is about prayer. Prayer and thanksgiving. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Let's pray. Most gracious and all wise Father, we thank you for your goodness, your kindness, your tender mercy, and all of your bountiful and wondrous blessings you have and you will bestow upon we, your people. Bless us mightily, bless us abundantly. We thank you for another day. We thank you for another Thanksgiving. Some of us are going through some challenges of life. Some of us are in a dark season right now. Going through a dark day right now. But I pray, God, that you will bless them. You will continue to strengthen them. You continue to hold them up in the night seasons of life. Because you do give strength. You do give strength. You do give strength. And we thank you that you do give strength in the night season of life. Bless us, my day. Bless us, my your people. These blessings we ask in Jesus' name for your glory. In the Son of Jesus, we pray and we thank you. Amen and amen. The Lord bless you, Lord, keep you. We have a great remainder of the day and have a wonderful marvelous Thanksgiving. And eat all you can eat. But let me change that. Eat a good portion, but don't be good in it. Amen.